track some more, uh, heading uh, west out of uh, Nagoya. Uh, we've been on the move here for a little less than uh, two hours, and uh, now that we're getting out to, to the lesser populated areas, uh, you can get to see a little difference uh, in the countryside, uh, more spread out here. You can see the uh, small plots and fields right there near the homes and all, and uh, more of uh, what we would uh, see in the United States in the suburban areas there, the individual residential homes and all, as opposed to the large apartments and so forth. Uh, I guess, you know, when you got room to spread out, you can, and I guess there's still room to buy your, buy your lot here and uh, build, I guess. Uh, some industrial uh, stuff right along in here, various little factories and industries and so forth. Uh, rather pretty as we're zooming by here. I'm sure it's a bit hard to distinguish on the camera, but you know, I'll just try to pan around and get some idea of the uh, nearby uh, mountains. Uh, a lot of winter sports activities take place up there, so uh, you see folks uh, dressed and a lot of uh, travel opportunities to head on off to the mountains for your skiing or your snowboarding. Also in some of the mountain resort areas where I'll be going uh, in a few weeks uh, up to the northern part of this island. Uh, there's uh, more mountainous and uh, rural and all, plus uh, more uh, of the uh, winter sports activities all in the Japanese Alps, as one travel uh, guidebook describes it here. So uh, this is what it uh, looks like out the city limits of Nagoya, heading uh, west on an absolutely gorgeous day here in, uh, in Japan. Got some clouds. And if you didn't see the other video um, an hour or so back, I wanted to try to capture Mount Fuji as we were going by on the Shinkansen, but uh, the weather didn't cooperate. Uh, it was covered in clouds, much less like those ones in the uh, background there. They've uh, got some snow on them, but uh, Mount Fuji being a uh, higher elevation, the uh, biggest mountain here, and most scenic uh, spot uh, here in Japan. Uh, couldn't see too much. Oh, here comes our conductor. Uh, he's coming by uh, again, I guess, to check on the passengers that got on at uh, Nagoya. I showed him my ticket earlier, and uh, he did the official stamp to make sure that I was supposed to be where I was supposed to be, kind of thing. So, uh, when traveling to Japan, uh, be sure to think about riding the Shinkansen, uh, where you can go. Uh, uh, if you're going any distance and all, uh, sure beats. Uh, uh, the way it's been going so far for me, as far as the ease of getting to the uh, station and taking off, a um, lot less uh, some of the hassles we expect in, uh, or to encounter in almost even the best situation there uh, with airline travel. So uh, this is certainly an option to travel around Japan uh, with what's going on. All right, well, I'll turn the camera off now, and I'll pick it up later uh, when we're down the tracks a little further there and uh, get to see some uh, other parts of the countryside uh, here on our way, way west to Hiroshima and eventually to Iwakuni, Japan.